Hello, Friendly Man here once again, and I'm here to talk to you about Star Trek. And Star Trek and is one of my favorite shows. I have all the episodes. I have Next Generation. I have Deep Space Nine. I got Voyager. And everybody just forgets about Enterprise. So I don't have Enterprise. But, so, but there are some duplicates in Star Trek. When I mean by duplicates, I'm talking about characters. There are similar characters or the same actors playing the same, sometimes the same role or sometimes even a different role. So this is just a fun video of mine that I'm going to show you about uh, same actors playing their doppelganger. So that's that's what this episode's about. I hope you enjoy. So this is my top five. Doppelganger picks. Number five. Aaron Eisenberg. You'll know him as Nog. Nog is uh, one of the famous characters that you'll see on Deep Space Nine. But what you didn't know is he has a doppelganger all the way in the Alpha Quadrant. He also played as a Kazon all the way in Voyager. And uh, he has no name because he was supposed to uh, kill Chakotay in the episode. And that's how he gets a name ceremony. And so Nog is his most famous character. But uh, he does have a doppelganger. And same actor plays these two roles. So I just thought we just find this neat that you can see all these actors playing these kinds of roles. So that's number five. Number four, Tim Russ played in three Star Treks, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and Next Generation. Why Commander Tuvok played a Vulcan in Next Generation, Starship is Mine, that's what the episode is called. He might not have a doppelganger, so, but we're going to give it to him. Anyways, this is number four. Number three. Michelle Forbes, well known as Ensign Rowe, or Rowe Warren. Um, and she also played Dana as uh, on Next Generation as the daughter of a scientist. So what some people don't know was Rowe Warren was actually supposed to be the like major Kira, and, but, and she was supposed to be the love interest for Deep Space Nine. Uh, she turned down the role, and she was supposed to be like a more like a security officer, and that's actually what's that's in the books. But video doesn't do that. That's number three. Number two. Mark Alamo. Wow, this guy has a lot of doppelgangers. He has like five different roles in Star Trek, and so you best probably know him as Galdicott, but. He actually played another Gaul, another Cardassian, in S Star Trek Next Generation. And uh, so he might have a twin, Galdicott. I don't know. So he also played he also played as a Romulan, trying to find out who destroyed their, uh, their camp. We found out it was the Borg later on. He also played as a poker player in the Old West, where Data goes back in time and he has to foil an alien's plot. But he meets uh, a poker player that his family comes from Paris, of all places. And then they moved to New Orleans and stuff like that. That's a little side note, okay. And that is number two. Honorable mentions. Diana Muldor. She played in the original Star Trek right beside Bones and Kirk. And um, so, but we don't know if Dr. Pulaski is a last name change. Because she got married a couple times, she might have, she might be the same person. That's why I could not give it to her. I wish I could give her number one, but Diana, you had to get honorable mentions at least. Dr. Pulaski is a very, very interesting character. Number one, Jeffrey Combs is one of the most versatile 
duplicate in all of Star Trek. Most you most likely will know him as Wei Yun, but he has to put on so much makeup you don't even recognize that it's Jeffrey Combs. And a lot of the times you're like you hear his voice and you're like, oh, is that Wei Yun? No, that's not Wei Yun. That might be Liquidator Brunt. And so he played so many roles, that's why he had to get number one. What do you think who got number one? Did I miss anybody? Let me know. And if, if you like chess videos, go and uh, watch some more videos. They'll be at the end. You'll just click on it. And um, I hope you like these. If you please subscribe, please give a thumbs up. Thank you very much. <laughs>